Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43 and I'm here to give you the month of December, your 2021 reading. This is going to be for the zodiac sign of Pisces. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much love and light, blessings, prayers, joy, all that good, happy, wonderful stuff. Welcome, welcome back. You guys are awesome. Thank you all so much for rocking with me and coming back time and time again. I do appreciate each and every one of you. If you are a cross watcher, please do come in and join us as well. I'm sending you love and light and prayers and blessings to you and to all of us here as well. Please remember that when it comes to Oracle and tarot cards and these readings, it's all about the energy and the messages. Take what resonates, leave anything that doesn't. Never ever force a reading. What's for you is for you. What's not, that's okay. Could be for somebody else or somebody you know. So please continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment. You guys keep my channel going and growing. And I cannot build this channel without you guys. You guys are amazing and wonderful. And I appreciate each and every one of you. For anybody who's feeling extra generous and you want to donate, I do have PayPal. And I also have a PO box if you want to send me cool stuff and gifts. Who doesn't love gifts? I just want to say thank you in advance. And I just appreciate all of your energy, whether you guys send donations or gifts or not. Just being here is a gift to me. And you guys keep me smiling. I do appreciate all the warmth and love that come from your comments and your stories that you guys share with me. And your life situation scenario. So thank you so much for the positive love, the positive feedback, and just the realness. You know, I appreciate all of that support. You guys are just awesome. And God bless each and every one of you. Okay, Pisces, there will be three parts to your reading. So three decks, all the decks that I am using are listed in the description box below, along with my email. If you guys just have a general question or something, please do not hesitate. I am a life coach and a tarot card reader. So I do have life coaching sessions. I do have a lot of free ones. I have a new one coming up. So um, be on the lookout for that, and that's free. And let's just jump right in. Everything's been prayed and meditated on, so let's begin. I am starting with the Angel Answers deck. I love this deck by Radley Valentine. I think he also redid this deck with um, Doreen Virtue, who is the mother of Tarot, if my memory serves me correct. They redid this deck in that way. They're both on it. I wish I had that version, but I do love this one. It's beautiful. I love the energy. I love the messages. Love Angel decks period. So really cool deck. I love it. But um, this is just the one with Radley Valentine and it comes with the book. So I'm going to read intuitively and I want to read from the book in reference to this deck because I want you to have a very thorough reading and I love, I super love the messages. It's just a lot of guidance, a lot of um, hopefulness and just, I get a lot of peace from, from just reading a lot of the books that come with these decks. It's just, it's another level of um, like connecting with spirit to me. But anyways, let's jump in, Pisces. Let's go. Please, Spirit, come through as you always do. Let's see what Spirit holds for you for the month of December, year 2021. And always call on your angels at all times. They're with you. All right, for Pisces, Spirit, for Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What do they need to know for December, year 2021, for Pisces? <laughs> Some of them are sticking. I've had this deck a long time. Pisces. You have to say for a lovely, wonderful, amazing Pisces. All right, this one jumped out. You guys have within the next few weeks, Leo got this card and somebody else got it. I can't even remember who else got this card, but somebody else got this card. So within the next few weeks, you guys are being called to like pay attention, listen to your intuition. Something good and wonderful is coming in. It could have been, I definitely, Leo got this card, but it also could have been Libra or Aquarius, but Leo definitely got this card. So you guys may want to um, look up the Leo reading that I already posted and there could be like information and messages, extra things for you guys in that message. Like you guys can definitely have Leo in your chart. Some of you I'm feeling you already do. And also you guys could be connecting with the Leo, but within the next few weeks, something is about to like come through something good. I feel like it's good news. Listen to your intuitive gifts, your intuition, listen to them, pay attention to your dreams. This is probably a good time to have a dream diary, a dream journal, write things down. All right. I want to read from the book so that you guys get a very thorough reading and it's really clear and to the point. So the book says within the next few weeks, what you asked about will happen this month or soon thereafter your patience is rewarded like i feel like a lot of people are in a time a lot of zodiacs you guys are in a time pisces of receiving gifts blessings rewards and just accolades 
recognition and just the things that you deserve. These are all gifts from God. Don't block them. Okay. Receive it. And I forgot to tell this to, um, Leos, do not be modest and turn down the blessings and the gifts that are for you. Smile and say yes. Train yourself to say yes, because a lot of you are so loving and giving to others, Pisces, that you forget, like when that energy comes back, let it in, receive it. These are gifts from God and spirit. They want you to have it. And they use other people as vessels to give you certain things. Remember to remind yourself that I deserve this. And I've worked for this. All of the deeds that you put out into the world, spirit saw it. So good things are coming back to you. Be ready for this. And just know that it's for you. It's meant for you. It's it's spirit wanting to see you happy. They want to see you smile. They want you to feel wonderful and feel good inside. So with the next few weeks, get ready. Something good is coming in. And never, ever tell yourself you don't deserve it because you definitely, certainly do. You are worth it. You are worth it wonderful and millions of wonderful things you are worth wonderful things please tell yourself that on the regular all right let's get to part two of your reading pisces i love the start all right i am using the intuit oracle deck already on the table and i've already shuffled it it's like over 130 plus cards a lot here really thick deck um but i actually shuffled it pretty good it took some time to get there but i i got there <laughs> but just to make sure they're not spilling out. I already cleansed the energy and I am going to cut the deck. Everything's already been prayed upon and meditated on. Always I do this for all zodiacs and I'm going to do the formation of the star of the sea. I do not plan to read in reverse. So if something is in reverse, I'm going to read it in the upright unless guided by spirit. And I will let you know. Let's go. Please spirit come through as you always do for the zodiac sign of Pisces for the month of December year 2021. The first card represents you. The second card represents the change that you'll see happening next. The third card represents what is going to trigger this change to happen. The fourth card represents the guidance or action you could take according to spirit. Remember, you all have free will and free choice. Always do what you feel is best. The fifth card represents what's happening with relatives, family members, friends, people in your close circle. Could be near and far relatives. Could also be um, co-workers, neighbors, anything like that. Could also be you. Take it how it resonates. The sixth card represents the outcome of the spread, I always start with the bottom of the deck as it represents the overall energy. Pisces, you guys have a 10, Neptune, enlightenment. You know, it's interesting. I was pr praying over your energy. This word came out when I was praying, enlightenment. Spirit wanted me, wanted me to pray that you guys receive enlightenment. Intuition is here. You guys are highly intuitive. A lot of you are readers. Thank God for you guys. You guys are amazing. You guys are mystics. You guys are helpers, star seeds, light workers, you know, a lot of you work for God and you know this. You could be a teacher, you could be a doctor, you could be in the healthcare, you know, industry, you could be, you know, in corporate, you could be anything. But a lot of you, you truly shine when you incorporate spirit into what you're doing. Some of you guys actually work at a church or a religious building or facility, but a lot of you have your own channels or you do various types of spiritual work for God in various ways, in the way that you talk to people, the advice you give others, you're an inspiration to other people. And if you don't know what I'm letting you know right now, you are a great inspiration to this world. You're needed. You're necessary. Your spirituality matters to you and it helps raise the vibration of the universe, of the world. And the earth needs this. They need people who are more positive and loving and also strong. You guys have strength as well. Okay, you guys are highly intuitive. You guys have a lot of psychic abilities. You guys have a lot of dreams and daydreams and you guys see things and you guys can foresee things happening and you guys have these insights. These are gifts you are supposed to use. And with this timbing here, you guys may be in a phase or a cycle that has come to an end, but like all all endings, there are new doors, new avenues, new windows, new beginnings are opening for you. So pay attention to how you are enlightened you know, epiphanies, anything that comes to mind that is like a light bulb, aha moment. These are things you need to know because this is a, the hanged man card. So if any of you guys have been feeling stagnant or stuck or like you can't start something or you can't get, you know, through a situation, you, you do have the ability to get through any challenge, okay? This is a good time for you to make the changes necessary. Spirit is going to enlighten you with how to do that, how to proceed going forward. So pay attention to what's coming to you. My nose is itching. So some somebody's coming to reach out 
or to offer help or guidance or assistance. And for a lot of you, this is your spiritual team, but also spirits since physical helpers, messengers. So you are not stuck and somebody could want to reconcile with you. Sometimes I do see this card as a reconciliation of somebody wanting you to unblock them. They want to talk um, to you, but this is a good time to reflect on your life and pay attention to your life lessons. This is a good time to focus on like how far you've come, everything that you've learned, your wisdom. Okay. And use it, use that discernment that you guys have, but you guys, you guys are free and you guys do have a level of control to get things accomplished. Enlightenment of how to go forward and how to do things. It will come. Okay. What represents you at this time, you guys have the white wolf. This is a seven. I like this card because it's about the strength. It's about that inner knowing and trusting it. Okay. Freedom is here. I love to see this on this card. So exactly what I'm saying, believe in your power. You guys are resilient. Okay. Stand in your confidence and know that you do have guidance and you Pisces, you guys guide a lot of other people, whether you know it or not. Sometimes you don't know how important or significant you are. Please do not neglect your spiritual gifts and do not forget that you are significant. It doesn't matter how many billions of people are in this world. You matter. You're important. You're needed. You're necessary. You play a significant role in a lot of people's lives. You know, some of you have channels or you have your own podcast or you're about to start one. It is going to matter. Okay. You already are important and special. You do matter what you have to say touches somebody's soul, somebody's heart. You're, you're helping people trust your instincts and do what you feel is right. Okay. Not just career wise, but um, spiritual wise in every way with your kids, with your families, with the decisions that you make, trust your inner knowing, trust your abilities, trust your spiritual gifts and abilities. Okay. Be confident in that they're there for a reason because you need it. And because spirit granted you this gift, God gave you this gift because he knew this was right for you. You can handle this. You know what to do with this. And if you don't, you will. It's going to come to light. It will come to light. It will. The change that you guys will see next, you guys have the light bulb, you see, right here for you. So like I said, it's going to come to light. It's all going to come together. You're going to be see things differently. You're going to have a new discovery. It's like a reveal. Enlightenment is here again, even on this deck. So you guys have some things that are really about to come to your mind in a very vivid way. That aha moment is here. Illumination. You know, some of you could get like an idea for an invention or to start a business, to open up something different, or you guys maybe I'm, I'm here like you're thinking outside of the box. You guys are intellectuals. Epiphany is here realizing something. A lot of you are about to have a breakthrough in regards to like certain people around you and the people that you trust, the ones you don't. The people that can go with you places, the people who you know you got to keep at a distance and love them just from afar, from your heart. But you guys are about to get a lot of enlightenment. And that's interesting because I'm going back to my pre-shuffle off camera. I always pre-shuffle and enlightenment came. Spirit wanted me to pray that you guys get enlightenment. So please, like, look out for that, okay? And you guys have angel numbers 10, 7, and 26 here. Please look these up. Any angel numbers that you guys see, you guys will get further information and enlightenment. Okay. Your reading is about a lot of enlightenment, a lot of things coming to the forefront, coming to fruition, things being seen. It's time to like, oh, I'm hearing like the word awaken. Like a lot of you may be going through an awakening or another one. Uh, maybe you're going through a whole different type of awakening. This is, this is highly spiritual. So, and you guys are. Some of you are very religious and those of you who are highly religious, you're learning to be more spiritual and vice versa. Those of you who are spiritual are learning to be more religious. It's like you're elevating spiritually to the next level and that's being illuminated. Some of you may even be surprised of the things that you're learning about or that you are studying tarot or you're into tarot now or um, you're making your own candles or oils and just different things to help people. Like the way you're praying and meditating now, it's on a next level. And this is beautiful. I love this. But you are going to realize like your gifts and how special you guys are. And some of you guys have new gifts coming in is what I'm hearing. So you're going to be aware of these gifts and it, be excited about this is what I'm hearing. What is going to trigger this change? You guys have the stallion angel number four, breaking free, just being wild, letting yourself be free to walk your path and purpose. 
unapologetically. Okay. You guys have strong emotions. You guys have strong desires. It's like, you don't want anybody smothering your light or trying to tame you or trying to make you stay in a box. That's not who you are. You're unique and special. You're not meant to be like everybody else. You're meant to be like you and just unbridled. A lot of you guys may have a lot of sexual energy at this time. Just um, be safe. Do whatever you guys feel is best. You're grown. So um, you know that. But freedom means a lot to you guys right now. I keep seeing liberation, freedom, being free, having free will. You guys have freedom. This word is here twice. And then also enlightenment is here. So a couple of different times. So it's just unleashing the inner you, the true you. A lot of you are finally giving yourself permission to just come alive, to be yourself, to stand on your beliefs and your values and what you think and just own it. No matter what people say or if they agree, if they disagree, you're not even worried about that. You're just being you. You're standing so courageously. I love this energy. It's like you guys are alert. You're woke. You're paying attention to things differently. You're ready for whatever's coming in next. You're ready to build on something you started or, or try something new and build from there, like a new business or a new business venture or a new idea. This is beautiful energy. I'm loving this for you, Pisces. Let's see what the guidance is from spirit. You guys have Jupiter ruler expansion. You see what I mean? And that's another seven. So you guys have two sevens, a lot of double synchronicities in this reading in regards to enlightenment, freedom, and two sevens. You guys could be seeing a lot of twos, a lot of sevens, um, a four is here as well. So expansion, um, this is the Jupiter card. So this is about making stable chances in your life being lucky and blessed at the same time. So luck is on your side. Things are going to turn into your favorite. You guys are at a turning point in your life is what I'm getting. And so you're ready for a new start, a new beginning, something fresh, something different. Jump in. If you ever felt like I always want to do this, but I was too scared to do it. It's time. Spirit is saying it's time to jump in and do it and continue to be grateful for all the fortune, all the blessing, all the gifts that's coming your way. You guys have tolerated and dealt with a lot, but I think you guys put a lot of changes into your life and a lot of growth is here. So you guys are ready to expand, stay very positive and optimistic. I see a lot of benefits coming in and goodwill, good things coming your way. I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm surprised I don't see like the will of fortune because this Jupiter expansion card is reminding me of that, but a lot of good things are going to start to come to you. And they always have, but I feel like you're in a time of it speeding up and within the next few weeks, you're going to see more things come. So this is beautiful. Just just be ready to thank God every time you turn around. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank your spiritual team and receive, you know, receive with gratitude and thanks, you know, allow yourself to be blessed. You deserve wonderful blessings and they're here for you. Keep making stable, grounded, sound decisions. Okay. That's going to change your life for the positive, and for the better. Let's see what's happening with family, friends, people around you. Broom. Angel number 11 is here. Yeah, you guys are sweeping away the clutter, sweeping away the dust, getting rid of people that don't serve your highest good, removing things that don't belong, especially during the holidays. I feel like you guys are trying to get rid of like stuff from last year or things you just held on to for years. You don't want it anymore, especially if it was like certain old um, comments or disagreements that rubbed you the wrong way. It's like you guys, you're building your heart stronger to like get rid of that so that you don't take that stress with you because stress affects your sleep. It affects um, how you feel about yourself. It comes out, you know, even in your body and how you look and how you feel. So you guys are removing unwanted stuff, unwanted people. It's like a purge. You know, I do feel like some of you do need a good cry or a good release. You guys need to write down your thoughts and feelings. Okay. If you feel like that's what you need to do, do it. Purge, release it, let it go give it to God and move on and move forward better and stronger, wiser. Okay. You're deleting things, even on the computers, even with social media. Some of you guys may be getting rid of your accounts or condensing or getting rid of a lot of people that's on your account. Some people you just don't want there anymore. You don't feel like, you know, they serve a purpose in your life. You wish them well, you don't wish bad on anybody, but it's like in this next phase or cycle or season of your life, you only want people there who belong. Okay, some of you guys are going to get a makeover, a total makeover. You guys are going to get a, like a new wardrobe or you want some new clothes, new coats, new shoes. You guys just have a new attitude. And I love it. It's like you're just restoring harmony in your life and your world. And you feel like it's time. It's unavoidable. You feel like it's just time to remove anything you don't want. You guys are cleaning up the house and you guys are cleaning up the car. You're making the kids clean up. You guys are just cleaning up your inner house, your outer house, 
your spiritual, just everything. This is like a cleansing for you. I love this. Definitely take a spiritual shower or bath or both, you know, pray around candles. You know, if you guys use oils or certain type of stones and you guys like to wear certain type of rings and whatever gives you like an uplift or whatever makes you feel uplifted and inspired and motivated and beautiful, like certain jewelry or just certain, like I said, rocks and stones or minerals or certain things that you eat. If it makes you feel amazing and wonderful, do it. Do things that really make you happy. This is the time. Okay. This is the time. And I just love, there's so much, I feel like there's a lot of light in your reading. It's like you guys are guided out of the dark into the light and the light is the kind you need. It's like, it's not blinding you, but it's leading you. Beautiful. A lot of you are stars is what I'm hearing as well. Like you're known or you will be, and you're going to help a lot of people based on your thoughts, your emotions, how you feel, your delivery, the messages that you guys have to offer, the products that you're putting out. This looks really good. I'm, I'm hearing like inventions. Your outcome, Pisces, you guys have Mars, destruction, the tower. Yeah, there's people who are not going to be too happy when you move on and expand without them. Don't worry about them. Give them to God and focus on your manifestations, okay? Keep manifesting what you do want. Don't focus on what you don't want. Go around them, go over them, keep flying high and higher, okay? Because these people, they, they may not be good with change is what I'm getting. And I feel like this is going to be a sudden change for them, but I feel like it's been a long time coming for you. You're in your time of a major breakthrough, of a major change, okay? And it's going to feel raw to them. They're not going to like it. Some of them will be mad and angry. Do not focus on the haters. And do what you guys feel is right. You guys do not want to be around drama or anybody who has a lot of conflict and chaos. You're over it. You're through with it. You don't want to be aggressive with people, but you guys are very self-assured or you're getting to that point where like you're standing in your confidence and whoever just don't match your level and vibration, they just can't stay around you because you have no time for the mess and the drama. And I don't blame you. You know, this is a change. You know, the way you're changing for the better is the change that you need, but people need to see around you because too many people took a chance in overstepping your boundaries. You're not allowing that anymore. Like you have set the bar high and for some of them it's too high. Like you're going higher. So you don't want anybody who's just about lust. You want real love. You're not, you don't want anybody around you who always plays games and mind tricks and on that very immature vibration. You're done with that. Like you are about your survival. You guys have a survival instinct. Okay. Okay. You guys are ready to make changes and you guys are ready. You guys are really ready to make them very fast. You're ready to, you know, to some people they're going to see you as impulsive. You're not even concerned about how people see you. It's about how God sees you and how you see yourself. You guys are beautiful souls and you guys have so much to offer to the world, to yourselves, to your children, to your life and others and to the world. It's more important to you that you please God and thank God you guys are in that energy because that's exactly where we all should be headed. That's where we should be. So God bless you, Pisces. And thank you for your wonderful energy to the world. I love it. I love it. Like people will confuse, you know, your confidence with like aggression or conceitedness, but you're not, you're just standing beautiful, firm, strong, you know, very deeply rooted. You guys have wonderful heads on your shoulders. Let the tower fall will it, will it may, where it may, let it fall where it may. And that's okay. That's okay, because sometimes, and this is a six, by the way, you guys, sometimes some people have to break down to break through. Like if you look at this tower, there's light at the top. Keep climbing. You can't worry about what's happening at the bottom. Okay. At the base, you're trying to get to the top and that's where you're going, where that light is. Some people don't have the energy or courage that you have or the strength to climb. The good thing about you, Pisces, is you had no problem throwing down a rope or a ladder to help people. But you have learned that you cannot stop your climb because other people decided or chose wrong. They chose not to make it. They chose to go a different path. They chose not to follow the good. They chose not to follow the light. You still stayed your path. You're still walking your purpose and this is why you're going to be blessed. If you felt stuck 
or held back, you are coming out victoriously. You're coming out, you're coming up, and that feels amazing, or it will. I love your reading, Pisces. A lot of strength is in your reading. A lot. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. You guys are just growing, as you should. Amazing. I love it. All glory to God. All right, let's close your reading, Pisces, with a message from the Archangel deck. Let's see what the Archangels have to say. Let's see. For Pisces Spirit for the month of December, year 2021. For Pisces. Let's see. I feel like a lot of them want to come out. <laughs> All right, one flipped over. Let's see. This one flipped. So you guys have the compassion card. Angel, Archangel Zadikia wants you to soften your heart with respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Yeah, don't throw stones at people. Don't um, put people down who's already down. It's not you. It's not your heart anyways. And they may try to accuse you of, you know, you're putting me down or you're trying to make me feel bad. Sometimes just a glance at certain people who are doing wrong, it's like you represent the mirror of the light and what's right and what's good and so they feel shame but instead of taking accountability and responsibility for the negative and hurtful things they've said and done to you and things they've lied on you about they see you and it's like they they want to be close to you but they see you and it's a reminder that they're not living life according to the path that they're supposed to walk they're not doing the good deeds and the wonderful things that you are doing and adding to the world and so you are a reflective mirror of how they should be living and they feel bad about that. And so a lot of times they'll lie on you or they'll cheat you or they'll cheat on you or mistreat you because they know you are good. And that's what we are supposed to be in this world. We're supposed to be good. Never perfect, but there is a right and wrong. There is good and bad. And everything comes down to like lessons and choices. You know, it comes down to that and getting it right with God. You guys live to get it right with the Lord and it shows. And people who are not even attempting or trying to get right with God, it shows. They're being exposed. They're standing out. And it's like, you don't need to put them down there. They're already in spiritual jail. They're already facing karma. They've lost you as a soulmate or as a friend or even a family member. Like when somebody truly loses the love and respect of somebody who would have always been there for them. I mean, what greater loss is there? I mean, who wants to lose somebody who truly has your back? And that's the love. That's the honor. That's the devotion that you carry, Pisces. So there's a lot of people who are going to have to deal with, like, the divine. You know, we all will. But there's people who are going to have to deal with the divine knowing that they didn't even try to do right. That they played games. They forget that God knows all. Everybody's ways, everybody's intentions. And there's no illusions with God. And it's like you guys are going to see through those illusions as well because you have the gift to do it. Okay. So just be, um, continue to be you is what I would say. Be you. And don't spend time arguing and fighting with people. Don't spend time focusing on their problems. Take care of you. Take care of your needs and priorities you will see yourself like truly take off like a plane and go forward like it's time to take flight and do what truly makes you happy and and not just say that but mean it like walk that walk great things are in store for you pisces i love it love it love it love it yeah definitely have compassion for others and you guys have that you guys know how to put yourself in other people's shoes and just wish them well and keep it moving no arguments, no fights, no drama, no conflict, no negativity. Keep that short, small, and few. You're too blessed to be stressed. Don't focus on that nonsense. You don't have time for it. Only make time for what's right and what's good and focus on your skills and abilities. You know, you have so many wonderful things to look forward to. Keep that on the forefront of your mind at all times. You good-hearted souls. I love you, Pisces. Okay, Pisces. This has been your reading for the month of December, year 2021. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as humanly possible. I'm sending you all abundance, love and light, happiness, lots of opportunities and accomplishments and just keep the faith. I hope you guys have 
wonderful gifts and positive choices and you know wonderful things that come your way lots of love and luck if you do celebrate thanksgiving i just want to say happy thanksgiving be thankful and um, know that people are thankful for you and because we are technically still in november even i'm doing my readings a little bit early i always do but um i know we're in december but uh you know in my mind i'm in december it's still november technically but i'm doing the december readings now that's what i've meditated and prayed over but it's still technically november but um yes happy thanksgiving for everybody that celebrates and have a wonderful december thank you guys for watching this december your 2021 reading much love and light blessings infinite joy always for you wonderful pisces and always be blessed god bless you bye pisces